this is an FPV drone. Soon. I have one goal today, and that is to get this thing off the ground. Somehow. Let's not waste time with a recap and get straight into doing something. We only have one small problem. This is our drone and our frame. There is no way, no matter how much time or money we invest into this frame, it is ever gonna fly. This is not getting off the ground. Which is why I spent the last one or two hours modeling and printing a few new models. I've only printed a few right now, but it's gonna be a much better frame based off of an actual FPV drone frame. And hopefully it's going to work, hopefully. All right, it's been two weeks of procrastinating, and finally, we got a few packages. Uh, let's start with this. All right, some 9-volt battery connectors. These will be useful. Next, we got a bunch of these cool pins. Oop. An Arduino Nano. I'm not dropping this one. <laughs> two of them, as a matter of fact. We'll be needing them for the controller. I'm gonna play with this stuff and then do something with them. I just spent a really long time designing and printing this frame, but we have a problem. Many problems. How are we gonna get this board with tiny holes onto the drone? Maybe nails, maybe hot glue, no screws fit. But luckily, I do have one use for screws. Instead of using these crappy 3D printed holes and pegs, I'm definitely gonna be using screws. It's gonna take longer to design, but it's gonna be way easier to deal with. <laughs> All right, so it's been like three weeks since I did anything. Big news, I know what to do with the circuit board. So inside this frame, I've created a little slot where the circuit board will go in. And I ordered a circuit board off JLC PCB. Not not a sponsor, by the way. Um, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm gonna start designing the motor mounts. I've been hard at work in the past month making my drone and other stuff. And here it is. It kind of works. J just roll the clip. Yeah, so <laughs> the motor's broken and I don't feel like resoldering that small thing to that small thing. And I need to get a bunch of new batteries. It might not even be worth it to continue this drone right here. So is, is that it? No, because this was a great first try and I think I'll do a second try maybe. Brushless motors and ESCs instead of st stupid circuit board mount things. There, there's a chance that I continue with this one. It's it's not a good chance though. Anyways guys, you should subscribe. So this is the circuit diagram. The PWM outputs come from the Arduino Nano and they go into the MX150 weights, which cause it to spin the motors. This is what that looks like on a circuit board. This is a drone model I made and it is a sandwich design and it's in the shape of an X. Anyways, subscribe in the next video. I'm actually gonna continue this project. So stay tuned for that. I have a few ideas involving gears.